Right, example A for tangent lines says that line CB, actually technically line segment CB, oops, I was starting with the wrong tool there, and the wrong color, jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, there we go. Line segment CB in orange <laughs> is tangent to circle A at point B. We need to find AC right here and reduce any radicals that we may run across as we're trying to calculate it. Now the reason they point that out is because we're going to want to calculate this using the Pythagorean Theorem. And we know we can use the Pythagorean Theorem because it works with any right triangle. And if BC is a tangent, then it must intersect with the radius of the circle at 90 degrees based on the definition of a tangent. So we know that this angle up here by B must be a 90 degree angle, and that makes this a right triangle. If it's a right triangle, then A squared which is our five unit side, plus B squared, which is our eight unit side, would equal C squared, which is the side we're looking for. So we have five squared plus eight squared equals C squared. That gives us 25 plus 64 equals C squared. And 89 equals C squared. So the square root of 89 would be equal to side C, which of course in our triangle here is represented by side or line segment AC. So square root of 89 would be the length we're looking for. Now let's take a look at example B. Example B says using the answer from example A, find DC in circle A and then round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So let's take another quick look here at DC. So DC would be from um, we, we calculated AC at the square root of 89, DC would be the difference between the radius of the circle and that whole length. Now, so from A to D, if we took that out of AC, all that's left would be DC, that short section, right? So what we need to do is take the radius, which is five units, away from that entire length, which we calculated as the square root of 89. So if we do that, we get square root of 89 minus five, punch square root of 89 into our calculator, clear 89 square root 9.4339, subtract 5, 4.4339, and it says round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So that would be our first 3 right here. Since the number up here it's also a 3, we don't go up, so our answer would be 4.43, 4.43. And that would be the side uh, or the length of DC. All right, let's take a look at example C. Example C says find the perimeter of triangle ABC. And here's an interesting one. We know that the section from A to E is six units. And we know our rule says if we draw two tangent lines from the same point outside of a circle, that those two tangents are going to be the same. So if AE is six units, then AD would also be six units. And then, of course, if EB is four units, then BF would also be four units. And if FC is seven, then CD would also be seven. Now, there's kind of another interesting thing to point out here, and that is since this circle actually touches all the sides of the triangle and is tangent to all of them, we say that this circle has been inscribed, inscribed within the triangle. And you'll work with a number of uh, inscribed figures as you get farther into geometry, but this is what they look like. And a circle can be inscribed in any shape, um, you know, a pentagon or an octagon or whatever shape you like, or you can go the other way. You could actually inscribe a triangle within a circle as well. As long as the, the figure is tangent to the, the uh, outside figure at all points, on you know, one on each side, it's considered inscribed. So, sorry, got a little derailed there. Back to our question. The perimeter is the distance around the outside, so we just need to add these up. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 4 is 14, plus 7 would be 21, plus 7 would be 28, plus 6 would be 34. So we have 34 units. 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 7 plus 7 plus 6 again. There we go. All done.